All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in Wayrest Sewers. I'm going to show you how to solo this one uh, so you don't need any help from anybody. Makes it, it's quite easy if you need some gear out of here. Um, now, these skeevers give a lot of uh, scraps that you need for crafting. So you can also just come in here and kill all these skeevers that you find. Go into the second or third room, I'll show you, and there's even more. Uh, you can kill those two and then go back out, reload, and start all over again. Uh, you can get a lot of scraps from these guys. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull these skeevers down with another group of skeevers over there. We can even fire off a shot and get all these skeevers if we really want them. Uh, that way we have a lot of extra material. So if I hit these guys over here, they're going to run all the way down there. Okay, we're going to move straight through. Get these guys. Get these guys. Now, they will kill you, so be careful, because there is a lot of them. Especially if you do it on bet, they will take you out in like two seconds. Okay, they didn't get much of a drop today, it looks like, but that's okay. Got a few things from them, but they do drop sometimes, so... Okay, now there are some alligators down here in the water, if you want to go ahead and get those too. Crocodile, sorry, not alligators. Alright, so we're up to our first boss. Uh, he's actually quite easy. Um, you just got to watch for his tail swipe. That's about it. The rest of it uh, is really, really easy. Now, there is a fishing hole here. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get this guy taken out. Okay. So, watch. There's his tail swipe. Back out. There you go. There it He's going to do it again there. Okay. The rest of it is pretty easy. You can kind of see it. He, like, chomps. It's not that bad. He's just got to stay out of his way, that's all. He's probably the easiest boss in here. Okay, there we go. And he's down. All right, the gear in here is not super good. Um, you know, there, there's some good gear in here, but it's not anything that I use personally. All right, so here to the right, there are some guys. Okay, so what we can do is we can just pull these guys into this hallway, just run straight back, get your gear, get your stuff out, and start taking them out. Okay, now if we go back a little bit further, we're going to get these uh, archers and stuff. Just remember to try to get the healers if you can, because they're, they're going to be the ones that heal the other ones, obviously. Um, so just try to get them out as soon as possible, especially if you're lower level. All right, so there are some skeevers over here on the side. Okay, over here in the corner. So we're gonna go ahead and hit one of those. It'll let me. There we go. Gonna get these guys, same thing. Pull them up here a little bit. Okay, here they come. Okay. Keep them coming up. Okay, get out of the AOE so we don't die. There's the healer. They're called Sawbones in this one. Okay, there we go. Now this boss, this next boss, somebody's still hitting me. Okay, now this next boss, he's not that hard. Um, what's most annoying is the AOE that he has that chases you around the room. Okay, but with that AOE, it does make it very easy to die here. All right, so let's go ahead and get him going here. Okay, get your dots on him. Try to get your dots before he gets down. Okay, and then start using your... There's the AoE that I was talking about. See, it's it's more annoying than anything, and it will kill you. Uh, you just got to try to stay out of it as much as possible. Okay, make sure you keep your dots on him because he's going to knock you down a lot. You just got to try to watch for that thing that he shoots out there. Where'd he go? There he is. Okay. I don't know if I got my dots on him. Yeah, I did. Okay. So, get a much AoE on the ground and around him and just take him out. Try to get out of that AoE that moves. Okay, the next time around, I'm going to hit him with my... There we go. Maximum amount of time on him. Okay, get out of this AoE. Okay, like I said, he's really not that hard. It's just that. Now, he's going to start dropping some, uh, um, 
little ghosts. There they are. Now they're starting up here. Okay, now they will hit you, so if, if you have to, take them out. Because they'll just multiply. If you don't take them out, they just keep adding on. As long as I don't die myself. Let's get a shield on here. I have to use some health here. Okay, now we, get, we took one out there, a couple of them. Because they will compound. Okay, so you just got to take a couple of them out as you go. Okay, we're going to hit him again with the... Meteor here. I shouldn't have hit it there because he's. Okay, so he just shot some ghosts out. Make sure you get your dots on him as soon as possible because if you're stamina based and you're using your weapons, you know, it's kind of hard to stay close to him with that AoE all the time. Okay. Try to get my dots on him again. Okay, he's good. He stood right next to the ghost. That helps out a lot. Okay, keep hitting him. The AoE. Okay, hopefully we'll get him out this time. Well, if he doesn't knock me down. He shoots that blue thing out, and that's what knocks you down. Let me see if I can show you what it looks like. There it is. Okay, he shoots that out, and that knocks you over. Okay, so try to see it and try to block it. All right, so the next boss that we're going to do, we go straight to this room here, okay? Going to the north. Okay, now there are a lot of skeevers over here in the corner. Right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take all those down. Drop your AoE, because that's going to be your best bet to killing them. Okay, this one we got a little more scraps on them. Okay, so we can skip the boss. There's a boss in this room. We can skip that and just move on over here. But we'll go ahead and take out this boss. And you got to be careful. Skeever's here. Okay, and as soon as we go around the corner, there are more of them here. Okay, now what's going to happen is your AOE is going to hit the alligators down at the bottom. And they're going to come up, or the crocodiles. They're going to come up and take you. Now they have the same as any other alligator. They're just a little higher health. That's all. Okay, so we're going to get this stuff off of him. You can see we're getting a lot of uh, Rubido hide scraps and foul hides. Okay, the foul hides, you know, you can use, if you watch my other videos, you can use those in uh, Clockwork City for the dailies there. Okay, so this is the next boss here. Now he calls a lot of skeevers up. Okay, he's quite easy. He calls a lot of skeevers, so you've got to keep on him because there gets to be so many. You just got to be careful. So we're going to go ahead and Hit him with an AoE first. He actually run right into the corner. Okay, so watch for the skeevers. They're going to pop up any second. Get your dots on him. There they come. Get out of the AoE. Just take them out as you go. Okay. Make sure you try to keep as clean a rotation as possible. I know it's hard when you're soloing. Uh, I don't, uh, you know, sometimes I didn't do, do very well either. But it does help because you're obviously going to kill them faster. There we go. They're still, there they are. Now there is a book over here somewhere that you can pick up. There it is, the Piper. Okay, ah, we got an alligator, or a crocodile. I don't know why I keep saying that. Guess I just don't learn. Okay. All right, so you could take out the other guys in the room. There's some over there. There's still a few more back here if you want to take them out. All right, we're going right back to where we came. Now, this next boss is probably the second hardest boss um, other than the last boss. Not because he's actually hard, but he fears you, and you end up running around. So if you're like me, a Magicka build that you're using, it, you run a lot of stamina real quick. Okay, so make sure you have your pots ready. And you could even use just a straight stamina pot if you feel as if you don't need the help. Uh, that way you can refill. All right, so here we go. We're going to take these out. We're going to clear the bottom floor, and then he'll come down. Just be careful not to get any AOE up there because he will come back. He will come down and get you. Okay, th that's not him. These are just the guards that are up there that come down. Now he is coming down. 
Okay, so try to get the other guys out before. See, he feared me. So you got to break free, which uses all your stamina. Okay, get your AoE down. And get any dots that you can put on him. Make sure your health is up. There, he feared me again. I'm just going to let it run out. I'm not even going to try to stop it with my stamina. Because I need my block more than I do. Now, I have been stuck in a tent when he feared me. And that kind of sucks because he can't kill, kill you there. I did stop that fear. Now we're going to block, which didn't work well because I didn't have a lot of stamina. I did block him, so I'm actually happy about that. Okay, I lost my dots. I'm going to get him on him. Okay, let the fear run out. Okay, just stay away from him. Okay, I've run out of stamina there. As long as I don't die. There we go. Okay. All right, the combat position. Now, remember, in all these dungeons, there are lots of crates and stuff. You know, pick them up as you go if you need crafting materials. Um, more provisioning materials probably than anything. Not really crafting materials, but... Okay, so next we're going to go straight to this door. All right, now this boss here... Uh, he does a couple different moves here okay one of them is a cone that shoots out and it will knock you back okay so that one's probably the hardest one though it'll it'll get there you just need to get out of the cone I find the closer I am to him the better it is because the cone is smaller obviously the closer you are to him All right so let's get this okay get your dots on him always make sure you don't forget that block I didn't get my block up in time Okay, back out. There you go. He does a little... You see the AoE, it's round there. There it is. See the cone? Okay, he faces away from me. Okay, you'll see him wind up. He'll, he'll wind up to do his heavy attack. There's the cone again. Okay, so now we're going to see him wind up. Oh, not that one. I'm trying to show you where he winds up here. There's the cone. See it knocked me back. Okay, so we got to be careful with that. That's why I said the closer you are, it seems like the better off it is. There he's winding up, block, and there you go, I blocked him. Okay, that's his heavy attack. Conal attack. Now he's going to do his little spin attack there. I'm sure these all have names, I just don't know what they are. There he is. Okay, I'm running out of magic here. We are soloing, so it is normal that you either have to use it or okay if you just keep moving around on a circle on him all right there you go he's done now there are some crabs in this room if you want them okay right over here there's a lot of them so we can pick up the uh mud, cla mud crab chitin if they drop it and more scraps Okay, not too many out of that one, but that's okay. Okay, so the next room we're going into, there are a lot of mobs here. So we have to pull them. Okay, there's no way around it. Okay, there are so many of them, we need to really pull them as much as we can around this corner. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit one. Now they're all going to come. There are some really far away back there. Look at that guy. He just came right through the wall. Look at him come right through the wall. Cheaters. That means they're jumping through the wall, and they're probably shooting some stuff through the wall too, so be aware. Look at that, there they are. They all came up behind me, but we got them closer together than what we did. This dungeon is so bugged for being one of the oldest dungeons in the game. There we go. Okay, we got most of them out of the way. I don't believe there's going to be any left in there. Okay, so be careful. They're going to jump right through this wall and come right at you. It's not fair, but they do. Okay, there's another fishing hole. All right, so now we have our next group. They're right up here. Okay, there are some skeevers over here on the left and our guys here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull them right back down here on the stairs. Now we are going to be in a disadvantage because the guys at the top will be able to shoot down on us. But most of the uh, guys that are physical damage, they're, they're going to come right to you. So just move down a little bit. Okay, again, they're shooting through the walls. 
I don't think that's fair. They could cheat if I tried to shoot through the wall. Okay. Now, as long as we get them all, we most of them in one spot. There we go. That's what's important. Get out of the AOE. And we got them all. Should be all of them. Okay, the skeevers didn't come because I didn't really call them. I didn't shoot one of them. But they're all bunched up anyways. Not a problem. Now, there is a book here on this table somewhere. I believe it's on this table. Uh, so pick it up. There's a mage's book. Okay, heavy sack. We'll keep looking for items that we can uh, chest and stuff. Now, this character does not have the chest. Uh, he can't see the chests in the thing. Flower sack. Always pick them up. Flowers worth a lot of money. All right, so let's go ahead and shoot these guys. Okay, bring them right here around the corner. Okay, most of them are going to follow. Okay, for these three. Now we have another big group around the corner here. And we're going to pull them right around this corner here. Okay. Just keep moving, run backwards, act like you're scared, and then hit them. The other one should be following. Yeah, they're shooting through the wall again, so be ready. But they should still be following a little bit. They should be right here around this corner. He didn't pull everybody, why not? I'm not sure why he didn't pull all of them. Okay, next group. It did pull all of them. That's the next one that's bigger than that one. Sorry, a little bit mixed up here. Okay, bring them back here to the corner. Watch for them shooting through the wall. But they're still going to come down. There they are. Okay, got this group here. They're all bunched up. Put some AOE down and take them out. Okay, right here is where we killed the guy before. Right here below us. Okay, look at all these materials. Look at all these supplies. There's a heavy sack. So make sure you collect as much as you can. All right, next group. This is a small group. The next group that's a big one. Oh, the weapon didn't change. There we go. Alright, we're gonna pick these up here. Alright, so this one will pull a lot. Okay, it'll pull everybody from this side across there. Let's get these guys out of the way. We're waiting. They're gonna follow me down, no problem. Okay, this will pull a lot of people if you kill the guy up here on the bridge. Okay, when he comes across. So we're gonna just go ahead and hit. Now look at all these coming. See them all? Okay, so let's keep moving down. Get your shields up. Be careful for wall shots. And we're gonna start taking them out as they come around the corner. Okay, there we go. Remember when you're soloing by yourself, try to get the saw bones as much as possible uh, in this dungeon they're the ones that heal. Okay, there we go. We got that group. More provisioning materials over here in the corner. And let's get the skeevers taken out. Just so they don't come up behind us while we're fighting. Alright, there we go. Next group. Okay, this group is a little harder to pull. But if we kind of pull them down this way, they will still bunch up. Okay, so we're going to try to hit somebody for the back. Okay, so they're going to keep coming. You can see them coming. Now they are going to bunch up. That's what we need. Okay, so let's move forward again. Pull all these guys towards us. Keep pulling them. Okay, we've got a big group. Be careful. All right, this one straggler here. And these other ones that didn't follow us through. go. There are some more skeevers over there if you want them. Okay, always looking for materials. There's tons of them here. All right, next group here. Now this is a medium-sized group. Okay, remember them shoot through the walls. Okay, they're coming down. Now once you see everybody move back a little bit, there wasn't the AoE on the ground. See the healer there healing them all? We gotta just keep taking her out. Okay, the next group is down here by the boat. Okay, lots of more materials. 
Okay, so we're going to pull them around the corner here again. Alright, as soon as we see them all, okay, there we go. Move back forward so we can get these guys and the melee. Okay, that's all of them. All right, the next group is to our left. Now, this group is important even when you're in a group, when you're doing the daily and daunted in a group, uh, to take out before you go and try to kill the final boss. Because if not, in the middle of the battle, you might be taking them out. You have to take them out too. And if you're not in a super strong group, uh, it's a problem. They are pretty much bunched up here anyways. Okay, so we got some more skeevers, we got some more scraps. And there's that Sawbones. Okay, there we go, we took her out. All right, now over here in this corner, there should be, might actually be in level two, or the, yeah, a veteran. There are some zombies in here. Now you wanna leave those alive because you want them to come out and then you kill the zombies when you come out. Okay, there are lots of materials again everywhere here. Everywhere you look, there are materials to pick up okay so there's all kinds of stuff here now i didn't see one chest not with this character didn't really search for him but there are chests in here okay so once we kill her we can actually go back and look at the chest now she's not too hard um, she's got a really good heavy attack and then she also will jump around behind you okay so i'll try to show you those as we go if she doesn't kill me first all right so let's get some why isn't that firing? There we go. Okay, so you can you can actually there she is she's behind me. She jumped around. Okay, so let's see if we can see that when it happens. Okay, there's her little spin. There we go. We blocked that one. Ah, she's behind me. So immediately when you see her teleport, you need to start blocking. Okay, now we're gonna have to deal with the swarming bats here. I'm not firing for some reason. I'm getting a lot of lag here. Okay, there we go. Oh, there she is. She showed up behind me. There we go. I interrupted her instead of wait up. Oh, she got me that time. But luckily, it's not too bad. On veteran, she will kill you. Oh, she hit me again. I didn't see that one coming. That was me trying to get my AoE down, actually. Or my ultimate. Okay, we're going to see some bats here again. Where are they? Okay, put as much AoE on the ground as you can. There we go. Now she's going to pop up probably right here behind me. There she is. Block. Or interrupt, which is ever is easier. Luckily, this is a vet because she would have got me there again. Bet you need a tank for her, because if not, uh, she's pretty tough. I've done it in a couple of groups where we didn't have a tank and it was really, really bad. Okay, we need to get my dots on her. I don't die here. Okay, we got the bats. Okay, this time she's going to have red eyes. There she is. Okay, we're at the final battle here. Okay, block, 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 or interrupt. Okay, make sure you watch your health constantly with her, because she does hit still hard whenever she's even on this, on normal. Just take your time, block, and she is down. There you go. All right, so she is fairly easy. Uh, just remember, she does jump behind you. Uh, you need to block as soon as you see her teleport. That's the biggest one. There are lots of materials here, as you can see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. And also like the video. And I will see you in the next video.